All right, so this is Stephen G with my actually first little pepper farm. Uh, I believe I may have a few too many for me to manage myself. They're uh, they're starting to come up. I have a few pictures of the sprouts, but everybody's seen one or two of those. But I'm just going to mainly hit on my types. We got the Maruga, Naga Viper. I still can't pronounce that word. Fatili, Fatihili, I don't know. The Primos. Which are, you know, these are all in lines, so on and so forth. But these six right here are in lines like this. So they're Trinidad Scorpion Chocolate. Again, I don't know how to pronounce that name, Detail. And Habanero Reds. <clears throat> and let's see, we have one here, here, two, two, one little bitty one. Uh, one, two, two, one, two, one, one, two, two, again, little bitty, one, one, and two, I don't know if that bad boy is going to make it. Anyways, like I said, I had the problem with the leaves. They were starting to not color right, as you can tell there. That They said it was overwatering. I asked a few people what would what was the best I, uh, problem or what was the the problem with the leaves they said overwatering you know but so i, I kind of cut back though on the water as you can see but everything seems to be doing pretty good so far uh my dad's been helping me a lot with this uh with this season or this grow he, he does a lot of tomatoes and you know squash and stuff like that but you know this is really my first time with super hots uh i been coming kind of wanting a uh, a sense of heat you know i just wanted to try to get it about as hot as possible and i guess my biggest issue would be uh, cross pollination i've been reading about that there's not really any way you can stop that because they can go over like my girlfriend she was in horticulture she said something about five miles you can have them go five miles with uh cross pollination issues but I don't have any method of really separating them, so I'm assuming that they're going to get mixed, you know. But uh, they'll have different colors. Oh, uh, yeah, my dad has some of the five colors that the Durham Bull sent me. He's going to grow some of those. I don't know if he's planted them yet. I doubt it. <clears throat> and I've also got one of the, and again, I can't pronounce the name right, but the Bonda Jacques Jacks. I don't, I don't exactly know how to pronounce it. I've, I just labeled it BMJ. But I've got a couple of those planted. I planted those late, and two of them didn't, didn't need one of them came up, so I re dug a hole in the soil and and planted some new ones there in a different room. But uh, they still haven't come up yet. Um, if there's anything that you guys can see here that I really should do. Oh, by the way, I have a heat lamp down here that I've been keeping them under. Yes, that is an ad lounge that is used for storage. Put stuff on top of it, it's been there for years. But, uh,. The heat lamp down there Ooh, is doing pretty good for right now. It's a little cold here in Arkansas, but you know, if there's anything you guys think that I should do to these to keep them alive and healthy, um, let me know. Like, I don't really know what the regulations should be for temperatures or <clears throat> how often you should water them. I mean, apparently, I was obviously loving them a little too much, so we turn the water down. Uh, I don't exactly know, you know, I, I usually drive my finger down into here and you can see it's still like dry for the most part. And yeah, it's dry about a good inch or so into it maybe. I don't know if I should water it right now or let it sit there for a while. I think I should because, you know, it's still kind of recovering from that water shock. <sighs> I'm trying to think if there's anything I forgot uh, about, I think my dad said something about how we're going to move them out to the actual spot. Once it gets a little warmer outside, like today, we just had uh, really bad storms roll through, uh, or yesterday we had really bad storms roll through, tornadoes and stuff like that, and I'm glad they weren't out there then, you know, they would, they'd all been dead. We had like a mat, like three inches of rain in a matter of a couple hours. It was bad flooding and stuff out by the river. <clears throat> but, you know, I don't know, Dad said maybe, like, in terms of inches, maybe this high this high before we put them outside and these are probably three inches wide so maybe five to six inches tall we'll, we'll sit them outside uh, 
he's actually really good. My girl, girlfriend, once again, she was a horticulture person, and she she did a she said that he had wizard magic on growing stuff. He grew really good things. But you know, I digress. I, I digress. Uh, it's really supposed to be about hot peppers. Um, yeah, I've already asked a couple of times, but if there's anything that you guys think I should do with these, please let me know. I would love to do it, and I want these things to come out as healthy as possible. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention about how I have a little too many. I think I started out with that. I'm probably going to pinch a few of these off. As much as I would love to actually keep them or try and separate them, Dad doesn't want me to, I don't really want to disturb the roots too much on them right now. Uh, but, like, you know, these two bad boys over here, they're probably going to start conflicting here soon. And, you know, I, I don't want them to suffocate each other and both of them die. So I'm probably going to eventually pinch them off. You know, if I knew how to transplant them and give them away, I would. But I don't know if it's as easy as just scooping that bad boy up and, you know, keeping that pushed back and putting some more soil down there for the other, for the other one to be all right. But, you know, if you have any tips on me being able to pull these, you know, two apart, I'd love to know how, you know. Uh... Those two over there. Again, here's my setup. Marugas, Naga Vipers, weird Fatili word, Primos, and Trinidad Scorpion Chocolate. Trinidad Scorpion Chocolate, Fatils, and Habanero Reds. That's my setup, and um, thanks for watching, and uh, wish me luck, and thanks for the support, guys. Thanks for the help and all the info.